you guys have pointed out in the comments on the last video, everyone's like, Forza sucks, Seto's great, all hail of Seto, Forza's trash, blah blah blah, doesn't self-steer, terrible physics, all this. Well, I'm going to prove y'all wrong today, and I'm going to show y'all that it does self-steer, and it is great. And in my opinion, it's super realistic, and I just, I, when I play a Seto, I'm like, the cars have no grip. They just slide everywhere. Like, you can't even, I'll drive Force Wang's car on Long Beach with eight PSI in the tires and a bunch of toe-in and super soft rear spring setups, and the car has no grip. It has no grip. So, I want to try Live for Speed. Everyone, everyone who commented on the last video and said, like, check out Live for Speed, that's on my list. Um, that game, I've heard nothing but great things. Taylor Ray, like, preaches for Live for Speed, and I haven't tried it yet. I've tried iRacing, I've tried Project Cars 1 and 2, I've tried Gran Turismo, except for the brand new one. I've tried Forza, um, Assetto, iRacing, I'm not sure if I said that. I've tried just about all of them, just because that's, like, always been my thing growing up. I love Sims, and I love cars, and just, like, I didn't really play many shooting games. I played racing games. I've drifted a whole bunch of cars in my life. I've drifted everything from, like, a Corvette Z06 to stock Miatas. And I've drifted, like, a Ferrari 458, all kinds of different stuff. And this game, Forza, feels so dang realistic to me just because I can hop in one of those cars and I can slide them around and it really, like, it feels great. And I know... Some people will think otherwise, but that's just my opinion. Y'all can have your opinion. Let me help people get better at Forza by guiding them and getting them in the right settings. And that's what that vid this video is about today. This video is about getting people the right settings. Isn't that right, Groot? We're going to help people get the right Forza settings. Yes, we are. So since the Thrustmaster is all set up on the next level kit um, and I've had some time to kind of dial in some of the settings and stuff and play with it a little bit, I'm going to make a video on what kind of settings I use and what some of them mean and what's important, what doesn't seem important, and show you guys. All right, so when you're in Forza, you go to Progress, and you go to Options, go to Controller, and since the e-brake isn't working, the Thrustmaster setup that I have with Xbox is mainly for PC. I have it on Layout 3, and what Layout 3 does is it basically changes the right paddle to where it's the handbrake. So layout one, it would be normal, like shift up, shift down on the paddles. But since I have the shifter, I put layout three on the handbrake. And what's important is advanced settings. So with this video, I'm going to make it, I'm gonna shut everyone down that says Forza doesn't self steer, Forza has terrible force feedback, the wheel does nothing and shut all that down and show y'all that it's great. So the one, okay, well, well, we'll start from the top. The dead zone, the inside dead zone, zero, outside 100. And then all this doesn't necessarily matter really. Some people change the handbrake in the clutch dead zones. Vibration scale, I like to run at 30. Force feedback, 90. Lining torque scale 100, mechanical trail scale 180. So this is actually what makes it self-steer pretty much. So you can go to 200 if you want it to be as aggressive of self-steer as possible, but I like it at 180 and I've even debating on, um, I've been debating on bringing it down a little bit, so we'll see. Pneumatic trail scale 100, road feel scale 115, some people like that a little lower. 
And also this is what's worked best on the Thrustmaster, the TX that I have. Um, on the G920, I know my buddy Connor likes to put this at zero and then he runs 200 mechanical trail. Wheel damper, 100. Center spring scale, I'd like to have that at zero. Wheel rotation angle, 720. Seems pretty good for me. And steering linearity, lin wah, can't even say that. Linearity, linearity, steering linearity, linearity, something like that, at 50. So these are the settings that I'm running currently on the, the TX wheel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to my garage and I'm going to drive something exactly like I would in real life on a track. I'm gonna go ahead and drive a Kuki S14 and what's done to this car is it's pretty much stock with an SR20. It has the angle kit and the steering angle is deducted down to 50 degrees because I don't want like crazy wise fab on it. It's got stock brakes, it's got full weight reduction so it's fully stripped with no cage. It has the stock tire width and everything. So it's running just little 205s. Really non grippy setup. So basically, it's like an S13, S14 with angle and stock tires and everything. So, what we're gonna do is go drive this in free play mode. And I'm going to show y'all what the difference will make with just a few um, settings changes. So we're going to go ahead and put it on Magello. And we're going to go to race. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start race. What I'm gonna do first is show you the difference with a little bit of settings changes. So we're gonna go ahead and take the mechanical trail and bring it down to 100 where it normally is when you first start the game. This is all I'm gonna change out of all those settings. We're gonna see just how different the car drives. Oh God, so that was bad. So you'll see you'll enter into the corner and the thing doesn't really want to self steer much. The steering is very, very light. Although I can still do it. but the wheel doesn't really do anything. Like it'll self steer, but very, very slowly, not with the car. Now what we're gonna do, let's go back to the options. Bump the mechanical trail to 180. I'm going to show you all the difference.
Oh, I put it on the wrong track. Son of a bitch. All right, we're just going to turn around then. So you can clutch kick, let the car self-steer for you. Grab fourth, clutch kick to the right, go left. That was a shitty line. The rumble strips, you can really feel what they do. But you see how the steering wheel is just slipping through my hands? That's what a lot of people say that Forza doesn't do. It doesn't self-steer for you at all. But it most certainly does, depending on if you have your settings right and what wheel you have. The G920 doesn't self-steer near as much for you. I'm freaking sucking right now, but I'll lay down a baller run on the way back. But with this, it self-steers great. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do one last run. That'll conclude the video. Settings make a world of difference. Another thing, I have it on 720 steering rotation right now. Some people like playing on 900. I've just gotten used to it on 720 so far. And it's going to take you a long time to get down this down. You're going to have to you're going to have to practice for a while. It's definitely not easy. And the recording's probably over now. But another thing, another thing we can do. So the difference with 720 and 900 is literally that 720 right there. That's full lock. So it's there to there. And with 720 at full lock, you can still go farther. It's just hard for this little bit because it's not actually being used. 900, 900 just opens that up. So I'll do a lap showing y'all what 900 looks like. Hopefully I don't suck it up. All right, so this is 900. Uh-oh, that sucked. So Forza has always been one of my favorite sims and some people will be like oh Forza is not a sim it's just a video it's an arcade game but I've driven a whole bunch of cars in my life I've drifted all kinds of stuff everything from like 2JZ S14s to Ferrari 458s Chevrolet Corvette Z06s I've drifted all kinds of stuff and this you can literally feel the change from let's say this car to if I went to another one, they feel completely different. You dial in a little bit of toe in, you dial in like less tire pressures, change anything, 
it really shows in the game a lot. The tuning and everything is spot on, and a lot of the cars drive just like they would in real life, like this S14 in my opinion. I think this thing would drive identical to this in real life. And this wheel is just amazing. It's not as good on a G920, but if you have a really good wheel setup and you get the setups, like the settings and everything dialed in right, this game is amazing. All right guys, so I hope this video will help you if you do have Forza 7 and you do have a wheel set up. Um, I can go, like if you all want me to do a video kind of showing on how I tune the cars and everything also, um, I can do that. Make sure you have full front caster. That's another thing. In the tuning, tune your cars, make sure you have full front caster. And as far as everyone that's DM'd me trying to play Forza, um, I'm trying to like host lobbies every once in a while and get a lot of y'all in it, but that last video has kind of sent me a decent amount of traffic that I'm having a hard time like getting everyone. So if you DM me on Instagram, I'll give you my Xbox like gamer tag and everything. And then just send me a message if you're having a hard time getting into the game or something. Just shoot me a message and I'll make sure to get you an invite. I'm trying to play like every night for the most part to like really get super super solid at this setup. Um, but there are some nights where I'm busy. I have a lot of time invested into Forza and I have a lot of time invested into driving in real life. So it's going to be frustrating at first. It's going to take you a while. But you really just have to knuckle down and work on like smooth hand movements and play with the settings a little bit like if you don't like my settings play with them a little bit i know some people like the pneumatic scale a lot lower and some people sh people don't like as much force feedback some people like more force feedback just play with it have a good time the cool thing is like the game and everything is so cheap you don't have to build a computer for it you don't have to go buy some like crazy rig um I would suggest getting one of these like Thrustmaster TX wheels over like a Logitech G920 or something just because like I have I have in my closet a G920 still and this wheel is really just so much more refined and badass compared to the G920 and it really makes the game like the cars drive so much more realistic and so much more refined that they are awesome. Thank <laughs> you.